Hey everyone, my name is Brandon Levine and welcome to today's video. Today we'll be going over a simple use case for Adobe Experience Manager Forms. Uh, this will show off some of the basic features and functions of AM Forms from both the end user and organization perspective. Let's get started. All right, so now that we are on our uh, fictional website, uh, so we are viewing this from the end user perspective, and um, you know, on our website there is a place for, uh, for our, all of our forms. So I'll click on this forms portal link. And you can see some of the different forms I have on the site at the moment. Um, you know, I can directly open a form by clicking one of these uh, buttons. Um, we can also create some custom actions that, let's say, uh, download the form to the desktop, um, you know, to fill offline. Uh, we can have a button that uh, sends the form to our email address and we can fill it out from there. Um, yeah, so we get set up things like that. Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and open up this job application form. Alright, so now that this uh, application form has uh, loaded, I can go ahead and start filling it out. So I'll fill out my first name and my last name. And so a neat thing about AM Forms is that there is built-in validation on the form. So if I start filling out this email address and click away, I can see that I get an error message saying that the field was not filled in the expected format. And you know that's because it's missing some crucial parts of an email address like the at and gmail.com, something like that. So if we go ahead and you know type out at gmail.com, click away, we can see that error message goes away. And um, you know the same thing with phone number field. Uh, there's built-in validation on this form or on this field. So if I type in nine digits instead of ten and click away, we can see that the field is not filled in the expected format error pops up, and that's because we're missing a digit. Now we would not be able to submit the form um, until we get rid of this error. So let's go ahead and add another digit, and that error uh, goes away. And we can also see that the field formats itself um, in a easy to read uh, phone number format. You know, we have an area code and then followed by the rest of the phone number. Now for the date of birth, uh, we can just click on this calendar. We can go to, you know, an earlier year, let's say 95, September 21st. I'll click away. And we can see that it formats uh, that input into, uh, you know, the month, day, and year. And then for mail, or for gender, I'll just choose mail. And uh, if we wanted to, we could configure this in a way to allow us to save the form and then continue filling out later. Uh, so we could, you know, fill it out later on a desktop or we could fill it out later on a mobile device. So I'm going to go ahead and press continue. And now we have a section for our education experience. Um, so for my degree, let's do a uh, postgraduate from George Mason University. I just spelled that wrong really bad. And degree status, let's say it is completed. And let's say we did that earlier this year, back in May. And I'll go ahead and continue. Oh, actually, I want to point out, let me go back to this education experience field. If we had more education to uh, put on our application, I could go ahead and press this plus sign at the top right, and we could see another field pops up, or another panel section pops up, allowing us to add in more education experience. And I could keep on you know, adding uh, as many education experiences as necessary. But I'm just, I'm just going to uh, stick with this one for now. I'll delete the rest. And for employment summary, uh, I just want to show that, you know, uh, we have this initial question asking, asking us if we've been employed before. So let's say we have, and then we can see a new field pops up. Um, and this is really similar to the education uh, information section, so I really want to fill it out. So let's click No, and I'll continue. And so now we have skills and interests. Uh, so, you know, we have achievements. Let's say we graduated top of class. And the neat thing about this field is that it's actually expandable. So let me go ahead and just copy this uh, and paste it a couple times so we get a scrolling bar on the right. 
And so we can actually expand this field by simply clicking this bottom right icon to accommodate all the text we entered in. So this is useful if we were working with you know paragraphs, paragraphs of text, and we want to read it all at once. So we can expand it uh, vertically and horizontally. And for additional documents, uh, so we can attach files to our form. Uh, we can attach uh, images, uh, image files, audio files, uh, video files, PDF files, uh, document files. And we can also uh, you know, attach multiple files. We can attach um, or limit the size of the file as well. So I'm just going to attach a PDF. That looks good. Um, in this last section for languages, so let's just say I know English. And if we wanted to, we could add another language right here. But I'm just going to leave that English one for now. And now I'm going to go ahead and submit the form. All right, so now that that form has been submitted, um, that's going to be it from the end user perspective. So uh, now that form has been submitted, we're going to take a look at what you know kind of happens to that form from the organization perspective in this uh, little use case. Um, so when it was submitted, it started a workflow in AM. Um, so basically, this workflow sends that form, that submitted form, to a specific person um, on the organization side. Um, we could have it, you know, if you wanted to send out to a group of people, and then somebody from that group could, uh, you know, take hold of that task and process the form accordingly. Uh, but this, for this workflow, all it does is it sends it to a person, and then that person will either approve or reject that job application. So we're logged in as that person who that form was submitted to. And at the top right, we can see that they have a notification um, telling them that they have you know, a initial application review task to go ahead and review. Um, but that's not the only way that they could be notified of this uh, new task. If you go to uh, the email inbox of this user, we can see that they have an email telling them that they have a uh, task assigned initial application review. So I'll open up this email, and we can see that you know they have we can see the username, and that we can see you know some of the details about this task that was. Um, submitted to them. And we could actually open up this task directly from here. So now that task has opened, uh, you know, we can start reviewing the form. We can start reviewing uh, all the information that was submitted by that end user. Um, we can take a look at, you know, their education experience, uh, employment summary, this person was not employed. And finally, I want to point out the additional documents. We can open up that uh, attached uh, PDF file to that submitted form directly from here. I'm just going to open that, you know, and we can review it from here as well. So, uh, and now for the workflow, you know, also the languages. Um, all right, so the next step of this uh, workflow is to approve or reject this application. And based off what we choose here, um, an email will be sent out to the person in theory who submitted this application, telling them that they've been approved or rejected. Um, so we'll go ahead and approve them. Let's click this button and confirm it. Click done. And that's going to be it for the workflow uh, from the organization side. And now an email has been sent out to that um, end user. So let's go to take a look at that. All right. So I'm back. In the email inbox, uh, this is, you know, actually the same one I was using earlier. But I just have everything go to one email address uh, for all of my demonstration purposes. And we can see that we have an email about a job application update. I can click on that, and you know, as the end user, I can see that, uh, you know, I've been accepted for my uh, for that job application, and I should be receiving a phone call soon about this exciting opportunity. So that's going to wrap everything up. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please leave a like, a comment, and please subscribe, and have a nice day.